leave it all flawless. In today's video, I am going to do a quick demo and review of the Dollar Tree clear stamps that I had purchased. I had this one set and I wanted to wait until I tried out at least the one, even though I know I only paid a dollar for it, but even still I wanted to make sure that they would at least be something that would either work or something that I can work with. And I had just done a project and I did do a project share of this project here. And I had did some stamping on this booklet with those Dollar Tree stamps. So when I started using them, the first thing I realized, which is not a bad thing, is that these stamps do need to be primed, okay? Because if not, then what you'll get are a bubbly effect. So this was like one of the first times I stamped with that. So as you can see, this has like all those little bubbles, which meant that it needed to be primed, which I did do. And as you can see, this greatly improved okay now I was using it on a shabby chic type of project so for me I just wanted a clear enough impression that you could see what it was and you know I wasn't really that hard on these I guess you could say because again I only paid a dollar for that stamp set but I will say that I will now be going out and getting more of their clear stamps now that I know that these are workable items so the first thing I will say is be mindful of any stamps that you get that have thin lines because mine actually ripped. So this loved one ripped. I'm not really going to be too concerned about it though because I can just line it up on my clear block or on my stamping platform and get a good enough impression, especially if I'm working with a shabby chic project. But you do need to take a buffer of some sort and make sure that you do go over the top of your stamp. You don't wanna go hard, just good enough to prime the surface just like that. Now, I don't know whether or not you can see it, but this particular stamp, yes, there you go. This particular stamp has a, I'm gonna say a defect in it. So when you stamp, that is actually going to show up. I've tried multiple ways of getting that to come out. It did get a little bit better. Uh, let me see. I think this was the first time that I stamped with it. Or no, this would have been the first time I stamped with it after I primed it. And then I tried to get a little more ink and it stamped a little better on this one. You could also just try to fill that in before, but I'm just, you know, letting you all know that it does tend to do that. So this stamp image right here, it shows that it will stamp completely filled in, but a couple of my images, like this one right here, I'm just seeing this image wasn't meant to be completely filled in, but even still, um, this is how it's stamped out on my sheet of paper. And I can do some stamping for you all. See, here's the kiss. Uh, here's with the little letter. This one stamped out really nice. This was another stamp set I was doing uh, so let me just see. Oh, and I really love the mason jar on this one. I love it a lot. So let me get a sheet of paper and I'll stamp on it for you just so that you can see how these work. Again, if you want to, you can use a stamping platform. You don't have to. You can just, oh, I have stuff just everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to stamp on this. Let me get my, get this inked up. See what I mean? Like, even if I try to turn it around, some of these are just not. Yeah, I can look right through it and tell that it did not get that full impression like it shows on there. So just be mindful of that because if it's if you're like me and you know you can look at the image and tell whether or not you can work with it or there's a project that you can work with, then I would say go ahead and still get them. See, no matter what I do, the middle of that will not fill in, but it really does not bother me. Now I'm gonna tell you when it will bother you is if you plan on embossing this and you, 
if you emboss, it's going to raise the image up and it's also going to bring more attention to it. So that's when that would actually be a problem. But if you're going to emboss it and then maybe color the image in with some alcohol markers or with water paints, then it really wouldn't be a problem. So it's really up to you to just kind of like determine when those little defects would bother you and when you can use them. So for me, I'm gonna go ahead and say that these are a go. Where is this? I thought this one was really cute too. I did not use that one yet. I'm trying to find where the little mason, oh, it's sitting on my, <laughs> sitting on my desk. So I really, really like these. I thought they were really cool. You could always just do what I'm doing. You could stamp these out and then hand cut them and share them with a crafty friend if you wanted to. Yeah, this one might actually need to be prepped some more. Let's see. Yep. Look. So let's go ahead and wipe this one off. All right. I'm going to wipe. I wiped it off. And I'm going to prep it again with my buffer and this is just a nail buffer they do sell nail buffers not this particular one but they do sell nail buffers at the Dollar Tree and hopefully that noise doesn't bother anyone so let's do that again and let's see whether or not that helps make this stamp a little bit better but I really don't mind that impression that it gave us again if you wanted to you can just take a little marker i have some paper mate flare medium ones but they have a pretty fine tip on them and you can just go over top of it again just different ways you can make these stamps work for you and i don't have my stamp stamping platform up here that probably would have been better and let's see Nah, I still think that one's about the same, if you ask me. It's about the same. Actually, I think the first time stamped better. I don't know. Maybe it's just the way I'm doing it. But again, you get the gist. You get the idea of how these stamps work. So I really do like them. I did see that they had other more intricate, like flowers and birds. So now that I've gotten these, I'm going to go ahead and keep that in mind when I pick and choose which stamps I want to get. So hopefully you find this demo and my opinion on these helpful. And... Thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Have a gorgeous day, Dallas Smooches. Bye.